G'day guys and welcome to the first episode of Off The Mark, a cricket show which we'll be bringing to you fortnightly. Yep, um, this is a little cricket show that me and my friend Sanji, this is Sanji, I'm Nuan. Nuan, um, <laughs> This is a little cricket show that we've been thinking of for a while. Um, the idea came in our school days in VCE, in, in our year 12 days, and uh, we've, been, we've been waiting till our final exams are over to begin, but... We took another six months after that to <laughs> actually get started. Of but, uni, yeah. yeah, anyway, we're going to look at the most important and pertinent issues of cricket and give you a little of our own twist yeah, on it. Yeah, we just like to give you a little, you know, little taste into what we're thinking about, like what cricket that's happening these days, just with, with, a, with, a, with a bit of a, a comical, funny comical aspect twist. to it. There you go, yeah. that's a comical twist right there. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to do it in the best possible way, and we'll do it with professionalism and flair. <coughs> um, dude, <coughs> I just need to go to the toilet, yeah? So right, right after I said professionalism, you, you go to the toilet. On just, just one sec, yeah, I, need, I need, really need to pick, like... Badly, like really bad. I'll be back, I'll be back. Right, just, give me one sec. I said professionalism, then it goes to the toilet. Shit, Tate, you gotta do it again. <laughs> Alright, um, guys, I actually don't know where Nuan's gone. He said he was going to the toilet, which you saw already, but he hasn't actually come back, but the show's gotta go on. So, anyway, what we're gonna take you through now is the Test, One Day, and T20 series between England and West Indies, which originally took place. And this may be a low budget cricket show, but what we have now is an extremely, extremely special guest. Mr. Deshaun Gale, please come on down. Yeah, man, how's it going? How's it going? It's good to have you, Deshaun. Now, for it's those okay. of you that don't know, Deshaun is actually Christopher Henry Gale, the very same of the West Indies, his long lost brother. Now, the two haven't spoken in a while because of a specific incident that happened on the day of Chris Gale's One Day International Debut, which we have just learned was actually the day that Deshaun was supposed to debut. So tell us, Deshaun. I was meant to be debuting that day when Chris was taking his butt, you know. But the thing that happened, I was going out the butt, but I get in the dressing room and I can't find my box, man. I'm like, where's my box? I need to find these teams the back, you know. I'm not bad with that man uh, protecting my needs. I need to protect those teams, man. So I'm searching around, searching around for about 10 minutes, and before I know it, Christopher's going out to bat. I'm like, what is going on, man? This man, this man, day, this man, match, this man's taking it. And this is, if I see I've never had the opportunity, man. It's just terrible. Well, there you go, contrasting fortunes. Chris Gale is now one of the most sought after T20 batsmen. Um, that was meant to be me, man. That was me. But and I I'm, not, I'm not batting without protecting my nanies. We got it. You want to protect your nanies. But anyway, we must move on. <laughs> so let's talk about the first test between England and the West Indies, which happened at Lords from May 17th to 21st. Uh, England actually won by five wickets. Broad took seven for 72 in West Indies' first innings. It was his first five wicket haul at Lords, uh, his fifth in tests, and second against the West Indies. Andrew Strauss got himself back into some good form with 122. He did play well. It was his fifth <coughs> test century at Lords, his first in 18 months since the Ashes. It's about time, but I've been two in months. That's very true. <laughs> Shivnarayan Chanapal was the only West Indies batsman other than Dallin Samuels to stand up. He made 87 not out and 91 in the match, and he carried the West Indies to respectable yeah, scores. Marlon Samuels marked his return to Test cricket with a solid 86, reminding the world of his talent. Yeah, he's a good butt, that man. He's a good butt. He's a good butt. Now onto the second Test, which was again between England and West Indies, mm -hmm. obviously, at Nottingham, which was from the 25th of May to the 28th. Uh, England won by nine wickets in Cantor. Uh, Sammy and Samuels had a 204 run partnership. Marlon Samuels scored his third Test century and again marked his coming of age and return to Test Cricket. That was good. And he that scored 76 as well in the second innings and took two wickets for the match. He's got talent that young man, he's got talent, we come back. And Sammy, Darren Sammy, the captain, scored his scored 106, which was That's his first time. ever Test 100. Long time. Yeah. Now, Deshaun, I'd like to ask you, what do you think of Andrew Strauss? He scored his 21st <laughs> Test century with 141 in the yeah. first inning, so what are your views on him? Well, it's about time we got 100, I know. He's been, he's been uh, a bit out of form this and I mean, he's getting scores, but he's not carrying on with his batting, you know. He's not scoring quickly enough and, uh, you know, as, a, he's, as England captain, he's got a set of standard for the rest of the players to follow. And uh, it's a good thing he got the 100, a good thing he got the 100, but he really start kick on and, you know, really do something. But I watched this innings, I was good, good batting. He's a bit, he's not, not the most classical player. Not the most classical player, he's a bit, he's a bit of a stodgy fellow, you know, it reminds me of a bit of, uh, uh, you know, Ram Naresh Sarwan. He's a bit more, uh, a little bit more of the classical mode, but still he got that stodgy, he's got that determined, uh, you know, style which I like about him, which I like about him. But uh, good batting there by Strauss, I was quite happy with the knock, played well, played well that young man. Thank you, thank you. 
Anyway, on to the third test, which was at Birmingham from the 7th of June to the 11th. Now, this test was washed out because of bad weather, but the West Indies stood up. They made 426 as an innings. Dinesh Ramden made 107 not out in the first innings, but this was overshadowed by the fiery note he left for one Vivian Richards who said, Yeah, Viv, talk now. So, Deshaun, you're from the West Indies. What does Yeah, Viv, talk now mean? But well, it means Yeah, Viv, talk now. No, but what does it mean? It means talk now, Viv. It means Yeah, Viv, talk now. Just tell me the talk. What's there to talk about? Again, thank you for that help. But the note kind of backfired on <coughs> Dinesh Ramden. He actually got fined 20% of his match fee. Because, yeah, let's be honest, nobody criticizes the king, Vivian yeah, Richards. Yeah, do that, man. That's like... Oh, that's Viv like... Richards is the king of West Indies mm. cricket. So, let's have a look at the stats, right? The main difference between Dinesh Ramden and Vivian Richards is approximately 22 test centuries <laughs> and about 6,000 test runs. Oh, uh, dear, dear, man. It's so, after this... Again, as we mentioned, he pulled out the note which said, Yeah, Viv, talk now. And this is not a new thing for Dinesh Ramden. When he got his first 100, which I believe was 169 against England in the West Indies, he pulled out a note dedicated to his trainers, thanking him for the hard work he put in to help him get to that first yeah, That's test fair hundred. enough, man. That's fair enough. But, but this one. <laughs> this is the Dinesh Ramden way, and we wonder why. Mm. I mean, we do realize you just got the 100, Dinesh, so why do you need to pull out the note? Everyone just realized you got the 100. We do have scoreboards at the matches. But because of this, we're seeing a new trend across cricket fields over, all over the world. It's a strange thing. You see it, you see it in Jamaica, you see it in Trinidad, Tobia. We see it everywhere now. I don't know what these kids are doing. Yeah, well, we really don't know what to call it. So we're just going to simply call it pulling a Dinesh. Ah. Yeah! Yeah, Dinesh. Talk nah. Whatever that means. I have a no too. So yes, if you're a bowler, the only way you can celebrate is if you pull out a note. Now Deshaun, you're a very good friend of the next man we're oh, going to talk yes, about. Man. This man has been in and out of the West Indies team and is more so known about the Mind the Windows Tino sledge with Andrew Flintoff <laughs> getting to him back at Lords in 2004. Uh, but Tino yes. Best was the man of the moment in this test match. I remember that. He batted at number 11, but he went about it in a traditional Calypso West Indian fashion. Oh, yes, man. That was with whimsy and flair and a huge sense of fun <laughs> that gave the West Indies something to cheer about on this tour. He ended up making a brilliant 95, which is the highest yes. score in like, the history of Test cricket for a number 11. Number 11. So, Deshaun, tell us about your experiences with the man Tino Best. Yes, Tino, Tino is a good man, Tino. I played cricket with him in uh, my younger days. He's a, he's a very good bowler, very good line and net bowler. Not the fastest, not an Andy Roberts or Michael Holden. He's, uh, he's, he's very accurate, very, very line and leg bowler. Oh, I'm sorry, Deshaun, we, we have a strict timetable here, so I can't have you just ranting on. I'm man, sorry. Sorry. What is this? You want me to talk about my base man? That's why it's called Tino Base Man. Because <laughs> he's a not base man. <sighs> I'm sorry, but yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'm sorry. This is. Uh... But we must move on to the ODI series, which was again nice. dominated by England with them winning 2 0. Mm. So, the series marked the return of your brother, Christopher Henry Gale, to the West Indies after a 15-month absence due to some disagreements with the West Indies Cricket Board. Yeah. Now, I know you two aren't exactly on speaking terms, and I would like to ask you to keep your cool, but tell us, what did you think of his innings? He hit a huge, towering five sixes in that match. Yeah, he played, he played batted well, he batted well, but just, I want you to know I coached him, right? I, I'm you coached him? Yes, I'm his, I'm, his, I'm his coach, so anything he can do, I can do too. Just remember that. I'm a little good man, I mean, people, what? Five touring sixes, I can hit five sixes that go all the way to the Atlantic Ocean, man. I'm sure you could. <laughs> Sanat, I have one question for you testing your geography, okay? Just some geography. You all do it, you do it in school, just geography, okay? What is the largest city in the world? Do you know? No. Uh, like I said, it, it's very, very difficult for us. It's we couldn't afford and uh, school can't afford. You are wrong. It's unfortunate. The correct answer is Hulunbuar in Inner Mongolia. It is 263,953 kilometers squared. Sanat, what are your views on the chances of a premiership for the Ascendant Bombers? What do you think? Do you think Herd can do it? Yeah, I think um, the way it's a lot of hard work, uh, especially uh, the player who comes out of Colombo, uh, 
um, it's, I'm 200 kilometers away from Colombo. It's very, very tough. You need some kind of a luck. So Nath, this issue has divided the Australian public a lot. What are your views on the carbon tax? Do you want, do you want it or do you want to get rid of it? Do you want the tax? Let me know. You know everything before you came here. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys, we did say we were a low budget cricket show, so we don't actually have control of what is actually broadcast over the network, so we really apologise for what you might have seen, we hope it wasn't explicit. Now, I still don't know what Juan is, he still hasn't come back from the toilet and I'm getting really worried, I don't want to have to recreate a daddy daycare scene when I go in and notice that there's feces all over the wall, but I hope he'll come back soon. But anyway, again I have to say that the show must go on. Now all we're going to talk about is the recent one day and current test series that's going on between Pakistan and Sri Lanka. And again, we have another special guest with us. He's very, very special. Now, I'm actually going to need some assistance reading his name, but to join us, we have former Sri Lankan cricketer Chaminda Gunawarane, Wannakula Surya, Ranatunga Daminda, Colombo, Candy Gale, Kulatunga, Albert De Silva. Come on down, Mr. CGWRDCKKJKKA uh, De Silva. <coughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, just, just calm down. Now, Mr. CGWR. Uh, you can just call me Sam. S Sam, you serious? Mm, yes. S Sam, after I went through that. Just Sam, just Sam. I'm Sam. You're Sam. Right. right, Sam. Can I ask how you got the name Sam? Well, uh... I mean, I would have called you Alphabet. I mean, you uh, can call me that one too, but... Then I just came and they're like, you know what, you are Sam. And I was like, okay, I'll be Sam. Alright, Sam. <laughs> now, you are the expert on this subject, so I'm going to let you take this. I've got the scorecards here, but... Right. But tell me first off... Right. Let's talk about the one day series that happened a couple of nights ago. Well, the, nights the, ago the one day series, the one day series actually, uh, Sri Lanka did very well. Very well. First match, so we did, did, you see there, you know. It's Pakistan. a rude time had indoors. Hey, what are you doing, man? Anyway, the first match was a good one for Pakistan. Uh, you know, Tirmana Thir did well, but in the end, the, the Pakistanis got there easily. Uh, you know, Mohamed Sami, who came back after one and a half years not playing, huh? took three wickets and uh, I think Umagul took the three wickets as well but from there on it was pretty much uh, a Sri Lankan uh, Sri Lankan show you know it's a, a Sri Lankan teledrama show you know? <laughs> and uh, you can see in the second match also Sri Lanka winning by 76 the third one was a no result because of the rain and the fourth and fifth Sri Lanka again won by uh, two wickets and 44 runs so you can see uh, at home Sri Lanka are very dominant but what I want to talk about is this uh, the first test between uh, against Pakistan's in Gale. Now that was a show of Pakistan's uh, incompetence. This is a cricket show supposed to be completely non-biased. So ah. I don't think that you're in a position to say that Pakistan wilted like that when well, you're wearing such well, Sri Lankan pro Sri Lankan colours. <laughs> well, like, you can't say that. I mean, there. Are... Why can't I say that? Well, you can see in the, 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 the scorecard, you can see here that uh, Pakistan absolutely uh, plundered against the Sri Lankans, you know. I mean, God, that, it's because the pitch, you see, Mahela was very smart, you know. He knew that uh, batting first is the, is the advantage in Gala, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get off track, I just want to ask you, what, what do you think of Sankara's 199? First, that first was, off, and keep yeah. it short, please. That was please. that was a lovely innings. I actually oh. absolutely enjoyed that. Unfortunately, couldn't get the double hundred, but the way he determined how to play is just fantastic. I I was quite uh, quite uh, 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 impressed by that innings. Very good, very good. He's a class, he is a class player afterwards. Yes. Yeah. So yes. now, before we get off track with your very biased opinions here, I'd like to <laughs> report on the match first. Right, right, right. First, we had Dilshan making 101. Oh, that was Sangakara making 199, yes. obviously. Mm. Said Ajmal, he made a, a, he took five for 146. He bowled well. He's bowled. okay, but yeah, I don't think No, he bowled well. He got a five for. He's okay. I mean, he's okay sometimes. Okay. Uh, in response to that, 472 Pakistan were rolled for 100. Oh, yeah. With Randeep <laughs> taking four for 13, Harath taking three for 30, and Kaul Sekar taking two. Uh, in the second innings, strangely, Sri Lanka opted to bat on rather than following on. I wasn't agree with that one at all. Like, I told my, I told my hell, is Fifi, is Fifi. You have to, you have to make them uh, pull on and you know, like, win by innings. But he didn't listen to me. Anyway, mm. yeah, keep going. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, Sam. Mm. And then in response, Pakistan requiring a record 510 runs for victory. Mm. Ah, uh, got nowhere near. Yeah, I'm not going to get that. Yunus one. Khan continued his good fourth innings form, making 87. It's not bad there. Actually. And Asad Shafiq actually got an 80 as well, so that was well played as well. But in the end, the man of the match was 
Come on, Sangha. Uh, let me say, of course, yeah, the man's magic is bloody class player, you know, this bugger bloody scoring hundreds here and there, of course, of course. That, that, that's mm. enough, thank you. Thank you for your time, Sam. Right. But I believe since you're leaving, we should call you by your full name again. Well, if, uh, if you want to go around the world, then... You know, I'll go around the world. <laughs> it's another girl All right. Again. Thank you, Chaminda Gunawadane, Warna Kula Surya, Ranatunga, Duminda, Colombo, Candy, Gala, Kulatunga, Albert De Silva. We really appreciate what you've done, Sam. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Good we would appreciate here. next time if you come on this show that you are slightly less biased. But <laughs> I am by Sri Lanka, I mean, we are always, you know. What we can what do, does, do you know? it's, it's just, uh, don't, don't give me that one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to bloody. I'm going to Talk about this later, right? I'll, I'll see you soon. Uh. Can you tell Nuan to come back eventually, please? Who is Nuan fellow? You mean Nuan Kulasekran? <laughs> no, Nuan, the, the guy, the... Oh! I don't know who you're talking about. Shabash, shabash, shabash! <laughs> that way, that way, that way, First off, sorry for that bit, bit of brain snap before, guys. Just get a bit stressed with people with nearly long names. But I've been advised by management to take a two minute break, so I'll be right back. Right back. Oh boy, that was the best feeling ever. Should do that more often. What? Where's Sanji? Yo, Sanji! You meant to be here before, man. I mean, where do you go? Oh. Hey, I'm here, bro. Oh. I'm here. Here he is himself. Oh, guys, if you oh. don't know me, I'm, I'm James Smith. I'm Australia's <laughs> biggest cricket fan. Oh, mate. And, mate, I love my cricket. And I'm here to talk about the Australia Island series. <laughs> that should have been a great game, but. Rain, mate, rain. I hate the rain. What can you do about it? Look, look, James, it's great to have you on the show. No worries. Now, um, I'll just before I yeah? before I go on, there was a bloke outside. He had the longest name I've ever seen, mate. Yeah. I mean, Bob's me, uncle. He calls himself <laughs> Sam, but his name goes for ten pages. Well, you know what they say about those blokes, mate? Far out. You, know, you can't fit their names on the bloody name tag thing. Are you making fun of me? Oh, I'm just saying, man. No, because I noticed you change your accent. Just are you making fun of me? No, no, no. This is how I normally talk, brother. All right, look. I don't want to get into a huge thing. I don't want to start another huge issue here. But all right, all right, let's get on to the right. Let's talk about this Australia Island series. Right, now, right. look. The only thing you need to know about that is that the rain calls the end of the game in about ten overs. What? Uh, uh, what about what about Brett Lee? Oh, Brett Lee, mate. He was on fire. Dude, mate. It was ridiculous, yeah. mate. Like. The first three balls of that match, first ball, he trundles in, first ball's 90 mile an hour, straight through William Porterfield. The man had no idea, off stump out. He's still got it in him, though, still got it in him. Yeah, oh yeah, he's 36 now, I think, and he's going, he's going well, he's going well. But mate, then the second ball he comes in, bowls a 91 mile an hour ball, gets Ed Joyce straight in the leg, it's going down, the, the umpire says it's going down leg. Well, I thought it should have been given out, just, just, just for the spirit of the game, I think it should have been out. It was local umpires in that Local, yeah, that's true, they didn't have Hawkeye, they didn't have DRS, they didn't have anything. But mate, then the third ball, Brett Lee's coming back with a vengeance, mm. and my god, that was amazing. Oh, that enough. ball came in, nipped back, it's took out ball. Ed Joyce's off Ooh. stump, and I reckon the second Ed Joyce was bowled, he was having serious thoughts about representing Ireland again. <laughs> I mean, he struggled against Australia as an Englishman when they yeah, came true, down in 2006, true, true, didn't get a game for them, went back to Ireland. Mm. I mean, I don't know what he was doing. Fair and look, that was all there is to that game, really. I mean, is there anything else you want from me? Um, I think I want to call security now, fella, because... Uh, what? what have I done? Why? <clears throat> 
Um, security, we've got like a random Australian supporter here. Um, mate, I was called onto can, this show. Can, can we get him off the stage? I was called onto this show. Yeah, 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 yeah but mate, mate, look, look, look. Did, you, you, did you check in when you came here? Check in with who? Look, 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 sorry, mate. You have to go, you have to get off the set now, sorry. Why? Sorry, mate, mate, Why? Please, please. What are you can't, doing? Can't have unauthorized, you know, people here, all right? Please, leave. Yeah, go, 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 go. Mate, mate, you're going to regret this. No, 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 no. Please, please. My security is not leaving. You're going to regret this, mate. mate. Get out, get out, please, go, go. I'm Australia's biggest fan. Hey, it's alright buddy, look, we're all Australia's biggest fan. No. Come, come, I'm come, 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 Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, we really appreciate it. That was our first show yes. off the mark. Um, look, like this video if you did. Subscribe to it. Share with your friends. Share on Facebook. Share everywhere. But Twitter, what else is it? MySpace? No, no we use MySpace. <laughs> but do it. Just get us out there. We need all the support we can get. And if you didn't like it, keep it to yourself. Yeah, we have it. feelings. <laughs> show it to your family, friends, loved ones. Anyone who likes cricket. Anyone who's heard about cricket. Maybe someone who doesn't know about cricket. Yeah. I mean, maybe um, people don't know what cricket is. But please spread it around. We'd like to get all the support we, we can. We need more support because frankly, we just stopped unwanted guests. Yeah. Like the Australian we had in here before. Oh, that was disgraceful. Well, I missed Where it. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I was a Did you let him in? No, I, I, was, I, was, I was taking a break from hang, hang up. Dude, he just walks in and he starts talking about Australia. The island, man. What the hell is he doing? Yeah. Anyway, but, we um, need to get rid of people like him. We, yeah. we need teleprompters. We really need teleprompters to work. So I don't have trouble reading names that are about 80 syllables long. Because that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, okay, and I can't handle crazy. that. Yeah, yeah. And the third thing, we need to have our own broadcast. So interviews with stars like Deshaun Gale aren't cut off. No, no. So again, guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. No worries. Thank you. Thanks for that. Bye.